Since the beginning of time, we've told stories through artwork. Narrative art is artwork that tells a visual story. Artists and authors have a lot in common. They both create themes or big ideas for their artwork. And in books, the theme becomes evident after reading the entire story and you can kind of tell what the story is about. And in movies also. But in artwork, you can see the theme through little details within a scene. A narrative artist creates a scene for you, like setting the stage in a play. Norman Rockwell was an American author, illustrator, and painter. And he was really popular here in America because he created artwork that reflected our culture the people that live in our country that share common traits. And his artwork was a great example of narrative art because when you look at it, each painting, they look like a scene where the people in his paintings are actors. And the more you look at it, the more you can tell what's happening in his story that he sets for you. He would create illustrations for the Saturday Evening Post magazine for a long time. This is a photo of a quilt made by the artist Faith Ringgold. A quilt is a blanket made of many layers of cloth. They are usually very warm to sleep under. Sometimes they are made by someone in your own family and kept and loved for many years. Faith Ringgold learned how to sew and make quilts as a young girl. As an artist and author, she decided to paint and write stories on her quilts. When Faith Ringgold was a little girl, she loved listening to the stories told by the grown-ups. She used many of these stories in her artwork and books. Mother told stories. Everybody told stories. I was a baby. I listened. <laughs> uh, so my father was an inspiration to me because he, he was a very jovial person. As I remember many of those stories, I remember the style in which they were told. I remember how excited I was to, to sit there. I would sit endlessly and listen. I'd be very quiet so I wouldn't be told to go to bed. And um, I was fascinated that they, they had so many stories to tell. This book mentions the name of Tar Beach. If you lived in the city, you might live in a big apartment building with a flat roof. Sometimes people will go up on the roof and relax up there with their chairs or have little picnics with their family. This is what Faith Ringgold called her Tar Beach because it reminded her of being at the beach. These story quilts by Faith Ringgold are a great example of narrative art because each quilt tells a story with her pictures. Can you create your own story quilt? Can you create an artwork about something that is important to you? Can you create a family portrait or show an artwork of something that you love to do? Can you create an artwork of somewhere you love to go and set a scene with the little details that tell your story?